question I want to ask is really stems from an experience I had at lunchtime. <laughs> it's not the food, because I didn't have any. I chose to sit in here, and there was a film showing, Where Should Birds Fly? Now those of you who were in here would have been as shocked, even though I thought I knew what was going on, shocked as anybody could be about the appalling situation. Now, we've heard a lot about the appalling situation, but the film says it all. Farmers being shot at as I speak. Fishermen being sunk as I speak. Phosphorus burns from cast lead still taking their toll. It's in that context that I have a feeling, since there are so few Palestinians here today, for reasons that we'll come to later, that there's a sense of urgency, emergency, and that that has to be communicated into legal redress. And I just want to give an example which is linked to everything that's being said. I'm involved in a campaign to make ecocide illegal, an international crime, the fifth international crime against the peace. I, I, I slot it in, again if you can incorporate it in your response, because this has been discussed for 30 years. This was agreed by all the nations, save three, to go into the Treaty of Rome in 1998. It won't take too much imagination to work out the three who opposed it, because the three who might end up in the dock if it became a crime against the peace. And we still, there is an, if you like an ambassador, a lawyer going around the world at the moment, Polly Higgins, trying to get governments to agree, and she still hasn't managed to get the consensus. So I'm going to be blunt, sociocide is a very interesting concept, but I'm interested in the farmers, the fishermen, and the people in Palestine right now. So my question is this, is there not sufficient material concepts within international law now? And I'm not talking about punishment. I'm not an international lawyer. I'm interested in transitional justice. Is there not sufficient concepts to start bringing Israel to a recognition that they will be excluded from the international community unless they recognize their failure on basic fundamental rights that we've all been talking about.